an emanator of propagation clone? How can that be? Protect me! Protect me! Don't mess with me! The fight is set! Let Paradise savor it for me.
once the creature was unable to sustain its own existence and vanished as if it had never been born. Hmm. The threat is over. Time to get going. Is it over? I... I need to get some answers out of Rome. The meeting of geniuses is over. As for the future of the simulated universe, that conclusion isn't important. What's important is your task. You look... upset, correct? I regret my actions. There's no defending what I've done. Time and again, my experiments have fallen short, and they've always yielded predictable results. I made a clone, but it doesn't hold a candle to the Emanator. Exactly as predicted. 56 seconds on the dot. Restrained by time and place, its code of life could only be considered an incomplete attempt. I managed to replicate the moment it was born. However, it would soon disappear and be reduced to particles. Like every living being, it inevitably faced its demise as it journeyed towards the end. I find no fault in that. However, even the briefest life should have meaning. I want to know the limits of its capacity. It will indicate how far I've gone in a field completely incomprehensible to me. And it was a minuscule step, just as I had predicted. I did say that if a danger proved too great for you, I would personally step in to confront it. I must admit, I'm not fond of scenarios where everything aligns perfectly with my expectations. An experiment should have its unforeseen twists. That's where the joy lies. Even the most predictable storylines can have their pleasant surprises. I have to admit that these little ones born in the process sometimes move me. I see a human-like response in them. It is a concept completely opposite to that of divinity. They have... Emotions. Emotions may be either positive or negative, however, the love rooted in the depths of their heart is eternal and unchanging. They're still a long way from becoming geniuses, and are therefore unable to discern whether this love is one of friendship, romance, or familial love. That being said, can even geniuses tell the difference? I cannot at least. I do not understand what love is, and cannot respond to their feelings. Do you believe my actions were wrong? There is no need to tell me your answer, I just felt like asking the question. How should I take care of them? Perhaps leaving them at the space station is the best choice. Do I seem irresponsible? I'm sorry. I am often at a loss as to how to face my own creations. The effects of the anti-truth serum will also wear off. If others mention me to you in the future, you can answer however you like. Or even pretend you never knew me. After all, your memory of me will soon dissipate like smoke. Over time, hidden truths tend to surface. Past traumas, which I'd rather leave behind, have made me skeptical about trusting anyone but myself. If I do not want a secret revealed, the most foolproof way is to destroy it. The anti-truth serum will make you forget the brief period we spent together. 
It won't take effect immediately. It is a slow, intangible process, like the sweet fragrance of lotus leaves, plum blossom, sticky rice, and frosting sugar. Perhaps you'll remember someone performed selfish experiments on the space station, but you will no longer remember their identity. Perhaps we'll meet again someday, but you won't be able to connect me with the recollection. That way, the connection between life forms will be erased. Friendships, secrets, grudges, lies. All will disappear. It will make our lives more relaxing. I believe you. Screwlem will stay on the space station for a while longer. He and Herta still have problems they need to solve. As for me, I'm leaving soon and won't bother with goodbyes. Do you still remember the No Man's Land I mentioned? I'm considering a solo trip back there during my research downtime, just to see how things are. I miss member number 55 Yu Ching too sometimes. She used to always make something delicious for me to drink every time we parted ways. I hope I won't meet member number 4 Polka Kakamond. That would be quite troublesome. Who knows when the next gathering of geniuses will be? Do you have anything else you want to say to me? <laughs> I find that difficult to answer. I thank you, Mr. Assistant. If fate allows and you're interested, upon our next meeting, we could journey to No Man's Land and traverse its tranquil glaciers. Though I suppose it wouldn't be No Man's Land anymore. What a conundrum.